Hello Aquarius viewers. I'm going to get right into the reading. So whatever the cards want to say. The ocean might be relevant for somebody. It was really interesting. I had I had this dream last night that all all starfish are Aquariuses basically was what happened in the dream. So that might be starfish or the ocean that might be a synchronicity for somebody. Okay, third party distraction, karmic partner, sadness, adventure, honeymoon vacation, fear of commitment, <clears throat> ex the past. Cold, guarded, distrusting, shyness, fear of rejection, hesitation and mixed feelings. Nostalgia, longing, open, honest communication. I feel like you moved on from this person, and I feel like, like, I think it might be too late for this person, but let me pull cards here. Because it feels like somebody that you were sad over, like, you were heartbroken at one point, but it feels like it was very karmic. And I feel like, yeah, I just get the sense you're already over this, because I feel like you either met somebody else or you started opening up to other people. Or you might just be focusing on, you know, adventure, honeymoon, vacation, like traveling energy, um, living your best life, just having fun, meeting your goals, just like a very independent energy. But I feel like you left somebody behind who was just too afraid of commitment. And I think now you kind of see it as something that was karmic where you might have felt good about it in the past. But I think now you look back on it and you're like, well, like you, you don't feel like that was actually right for you. You feel like it was kind of... It was kind of a stagnant situation. It was very one-sided. This person's afraid of rejection because you are cold and guarded and distrusting. But honestly, I kind of feel like this person should be afraid of rejection because I feel like this is somebody that you probably... I, I do feel like you've kind of just moved on from this. Hesitation, mixed feelings, nostalgia. It's like they hesitated for too long and I feel like they also didn't know what they wanted. Like, they couldn't make up their mind. Do they want to commit? Do they not want to commit? Do they want to date other people? It's like they were kind of all over the place. And I feel like now it's like they're nostalgic and it's like they're romanticizing the relationship and they're wanting to message you. So it might be a warning for somebody, too, that there could be an ex coming back around. Could be a water sign, too. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Page of Wands, Ten of Swords king of pentacles yeah you found somebody else you're not having it ace of swords and this could be justice too where this person might have been toxic or because i just feel like you're very i don't feel like you even really have much of a soft spot for this person i feel like you kind of look back on this relationship as a mistake so that almost makes me feel like maybe it was abusive maybe they were controlling and manipulative maybe this is somebody who like gaslit you or somebody who um just constantly made you feel not good enough or just constantly didn't know what they wanted you know i had commitment issues in and out uh all over the place it's like you kind of put all your eggs in one basket at one point in your life but then I think you I think over time it's almost like you just became numb to the situation where it's like you were in so much pain for so long eventually you just kind of woke up one day and you're like like you you reclaimed your power you kind of found yourself again I feel like it was really painful at one point in your life but I think that you've already mourned this person and I think you got to that point where you're like you know what, I'm, I'm too good for this. I'm too beautiful for this. I'm, I'm the entire package. I'm not wasting any more of this energy on somebody who doesn't love me, somebody who doesn't, or somebody who might love me, but just isn't willing to commit, isn't willing to put themselves out there, doesn't know what they want. It's like, I think you were kind of turned off by that energy. I think that you're someone who's genuinely very confident. Like you, you know who you are. This is like, I'm picking up on a leader type. You know, you know who you are, you know what you want. So this is, it's like, you're somebody that I think you would have just gotten more and more turned off by that energy over time where at a certain point, you're just like, you're like, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this anymore. 
Um, if you don't know what you want, if you still don't know if you want to commit to me, that's that's fine. But I need to open myself up to people who do want to commit to me. Um, I feel like this person, it, it's kind of like standing in the doorway, basically. You know, it's like either go in or go out, you know. And I think you got to that point, you might have given them an ultimatum or something just happened where it's like you were really heartbroken. You thought it was going to go somewhere and they just... They just, they, they weren't willing to commit. They weren't willing to open themselves up and take the next step with you. So I feel like this person's going to come back to you and they're going to try to come back to you as a king of cups or a queen of cups. They're going to come back. To, it could be a water sign. I am picking up water sign. You might be dealing with, with someone like that. Um, I just feel like they're going to come back to you in this king or queen of ups, in, cups energy. Like they're going to come back to you with... You know, like, oh, I've changed. I'm sorry. Like, I should have seen what was in front of me all along. And I think they're going to kind of have a rude awakening here with the Ten of Swords. It's like a rock bottom breakdown because I think you're with somebody else. Or I think that you're manifesting somebody else or you're you're not. They're not your type anymore, basically. But I honestly feel like this is someone from your past, like like distant past. Like for a lot of you, I feel like this is somebody that you might not have talked to for a matter of years. This could be somebody out of the blue that you haven't talked to in like three or four years, maybe like a childhood sweetheart or somebody that you like an ex fiance or ex wife or husband or just somebody that you had, you know, you might have had like a history with or you might have had that soft spot for them at one point. But it's just somebody because I'm getting like I'm getting a long span of time like this doesn't feel like the past year or so this feels more like. Like, you're going to kind of be like, where the hell did you come from? Like, how did you find my new phone number? Or how did you find my new address? Or, you know, like that kind of energy where you're going to be like, wait a minute. Like, I'm like, wait, <laughs> like, like kind of caught off guard by this. But that's not for everybody. I mean, it could be somebody more recent. But for a lot of you, it does feel like it's very distant. There could, I, I, you might even want to be careful with like stalker potential with this person. Because I do feel like this could have been a person that you... I don't know. I do get kind of a toxic energy for some. So be, be mindful of that. It just feels like somebody who, who cheated on you or who... It's like if they didn't cheat, they might have just... It's like they, they wanted other people or they... They didn't know if they... It's like they wouldn't decide on you. It's like they were kind of just sleeping on you. You know what I mean? It's like they didn't know... They didn't know if they... um wanted to be with you it's like they could never you know what I mean like they didn't recognize all your positive traits like they never knew if they really wanted you or if they wanted something else someone else or if they wanted to get back with their ex or maybe some of them were planning on moving to another state and just all kinds of different you know there's there's a few different storylines here but it's like they were just all over the place and I think it was so frustrating and so confusing and it's like you're putting so much energy into this at one point and I think it was just kind of a roller coaster for you like just very painful where it's like this person could never figure out who they are or what they wanted. And again, being someone who's genuinely confident, eventually you just kind of became numb to this and you got turned off. So I feel like this person is going to try to come back around and be like, oh, I know what I want now. And you're 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 dealing with the king of pentacles now. You're dealing with someone who's stable, who's loyal, who's grounded. That truth is going to come out. This king of cups is, is going to be heartbroken, sad, nostalgic. Yeah, they're going to be nostalgic, but they're going to have to let this go because you're not going to have it. The empress, the knight of pentacles. I feel like they're going to keep trying. They're going to want to keep fighting for this, though. What is the king of pentacles? Because some of you, it's like you married somebody else or you're already dating somebody else. You're dating a king or queen of pentacles already. So it's like, I don't know how this person thinks they're going to get back in. This could be an ex-wife or ex-husband who's going to try to use the kids to get back in with you. Mm. What is this king of pentacles? The person that you're currently with or the person you're manifesting? How is he going to deal with this king of cups or this person pretending to be a king of cups? Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Three of Cups. The Magician. The Hierophant. I feel like he's going to be patient and understanding with you. Because, like, if this is someone from your past, I think he's going to be understanding to a degree. Um... Because he wants this new life with you. He wants this start with you. 
The Magician and the Hierophant. What is that about? Angela de la Newt. Queen of Wands. Page of Cups. The Wheel. I feel like this person is like thinking about long term with you. I think they're not going to tolerate, they're not going to let this person come in between you, I don't think. Eight of Wands. It's almost like they're going to be, they're, they're going to compete with this person almost in a passive way. Like I'm not getting the energy. I mean, it could be different for everybody, but I'm not getting like a physical confrontation kind of energy. I'm getting more of the energy of like, they're going to commit to you more and they're going to let people know that you're together. They're going to, like, they're just not going to, let this person get in the way, you know what I mean? Like if this was like an ex-wife, ex-husband situation, like they're going to be there when they drop the kids off. They're going to, they're going to let people know that you are with them. They're going to, they're not going to tolerate this. Eight of wands, knight of cups, ace of pentacles, five of wands. Yeah, they're going to make an effort to not do any of the things that the past person did. For one thing, they might have known how much that hurt you, how much that person hurt you. I feel like they're also, I feel like they're just going to kind of lead by example, too. They're just, if they're if they're in the same room with this person, it's like they're just going to kind of energetically assert. This this person is very strong that, that you're dating. It's like they're very strong, but they don't... Um, it's like they don't have to be physically confrontational to get their point across. This is somebody who can just kind of command a presence or they can command control in a situation without having to be aggressive. You know what I mean? Like they know how to be dominant, but in very subtle ways. So it's sort of like this person is just energetically going to let this other person know like that you're taken, that you've, that you've, you know, that you're engaged to this person or that they plan on marrying you or that they plan on having a long-term future with you um, energetically. Like it might be like if you're at a party, it's like they constantly put a ramp, put their arm around you and they're buying you a drink and they're letting, they're introducing everyone around as, as you know, your girlfriend or boyfriend. Like they're, they're finding subtle ways to let people know like, hey, this person's with me. You might want to back off. They don't, they don't get confrontational unless they really have to. Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, the Chariot. Some of them really do want like a commitment with you. Some of them are thinking about like marriage or just long term. Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, the Tower. Yeah, this person, this ex is going to have a rude awakening because you let this burden go. You're the queen of swords or the king of swords with them now. You're not open and vulnerable, you know, and that might be part of their karma is they have to see you with somebody else. They have to see you giving all that gen gentle, loving energy to somebody else. And but with them, you're the queen of swords, you know, with with this per with this ex, this karmic person. It's like you're the queen of swords, like or, or the king of swords. It's like you're blocked off. You're guarded. You're letting go of this burden. You, you know, this person's going to have some karma come in for this. They're going to have that tower moment where they're going to realize, like, they lost you. There is no new start here. The new start is with this other person. I'm hearing Minnesota. Maybe someone here lives in Minnesota. I don't know. Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles, King of Swords. The Two of Cups and the what was the Tower? Two of Cups and the Moon. Yeah, this truth is gonna come out. King of Swords and King of Wands, Justice. Because you're choosing a king of wands, so this could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and then you have somebody else. Um, it could be like another air sign, or it could be an earth sign. Could be, I mean, could be any, any sign, really, but that's just the energy that I was seeing here. But it's like they're going to end up being pouty because they're not getting what they want. So they might end up being in this energy um, 
because you have your divine partner, you know what I mean? Like you have that divine justice, all the love you put into this other person, it's coming back in the form of somebody else because they didn't reciprocate or they didn't want to commit. And I feel like this person is going to realize that, but they're not, they might take responsibility to a degree, but I also kind of see them playing the victim in the way and kind of being like a king or queen of swords type kind of matching your energy and being guarded and being like, well, what did I do to deserve this? Like they don't, you know what I mean? Just not taking responsibility, but you're, you don't even care because you're with this person. You're with your divine counterpart, Knight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you manifested this and they manifested you because your wishes were not being fulfilled with this other person. That was devil energy. It was very toxic. It was very one-sided. So you had the strength to move on and close out that cycle and uh, become the queen or king of pentacles and manifest, you know, you learned your karmic lessons, you and you manifested this person, you manifested your true love, your king or queen of wands, with the justice here to card. Um, five of pentacles judgment. Yeah, it's like you're making this judgment call too to leave this like you're not going to feel sorry for this person this time around where in the past you might have made excuses like oh like maybe they're not committing because they're scared or they have this going on this time it's like you're going to make a judgment call and you're going to have it's like you're getting divine justice like you're getting the chance to tell this person no um you're going to be the one leaving this person out in the cold basically you're the high priestess here you're very powerful very strong very intuitive you have a lot of good karma. I feel like most of you have wrapped up most of your negative karma. Like you have, like you learned the karmic lessons. This isn't somebody that's, I'm not picking up on somebody who like is, who is stagnant or who, who tries to stay in their comfort zone. Like you're somebody who pushes themselves in the right ways. You're somebody who has a good emotional balance. You're somebody who goes after what they want. You're somebody who, um, it's like you know who you are and you know what you deserve and you stay true to that. You have a lot of integrity. And so you have this divine justice coming in since you have that integrity and you've learned those karmic lessons. You've wrapped up those karmic cycles. It's like you have the the, the divine justice to be able to tell this person no to get that per that closure with this person. And this person's bad karma is they're going to have to see you with somebody else basically. The high priestess and the hierophant, you have your divine counterpart already like I said though for a lot of you I feel like this is somebody you have not talked to in years it's such a weird energy like I feel like it's or I feel like you haven't been with them in years I hope that makes sense but um anyway if this resonates please comment below even just leaving a heart comment really helps me a lot because I'm trying to get YouTube to promote my videos again I'm trying to get YouTube to you know get back in the algorithm again um so I can continue doing these readings I do need the the engagement. I do need to try to bring more views in so I can actually, you know, make this sustainable, make this, you know, eventually make a living off this. So I really do appreciate the engagement. And if you'd like a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Thanks for watching.